Bonjour, this is Adriana. And I'm Scarlett Envy, and you're watching Fashion Photo, Photo Review. Review. Drag Race France. Oui, oui, faggot. <laughs> We're two weeks in officially to Drag Race France. We should say it. France. Say it again, please. France. I, I've Love spent it. a lot of time uh, working on my throat game. Oh, yes, bro. So I, I, can see I did it. my homework. So here we are with uh, Say It With Flowers. I have a feeling there will be very heavy feminine energy on the runway. Flouncy and floral and pinky and reds. If I was a flower, I would be the dying rose emoji. I think I would be an orchid because it's so beautiful, but still so exotic. And it looks like a little vagina, so it's perfect. <laughs> and you're very delicate, just like a vagina. I mean, an orchid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we ready? Roll the tapes. Nous allons célébrer le début de l'été avec un thème de défilé floral. So first up, la première, Soa the Muse. It's kind of club kid. It's giving me a uh, little shop of horrors, the mm -hmm. musical. Uh, it's oh. very like playful and fun. Evie Oddly energy on the main stage a little bit. Just like this, oh. real, she's very confident. She uh, is. Like I don't want to run into her. We were expecting Delicate, but this is completely the opposite of Delicate, which I love. She sold us the braided look in the first episode. Now in the second episode, she's going for that rough that we were missing in the first one, even if we loved the look. Her uh, Gautier look was like all these like crazy braids and this weird stuff. And like, this is also weird. And I love something super crazy and weird. The jacket is good, but what is she wearing under the jacket? Under the jacket, she's got this like crazy, like little shop of horrors, like green cat suit on. I think what's interesting about it is that what she's saying with flowers is that she's like not very floral and not very delicate and not like, she's like a rocker chick. She definitely oh. feels like not a whole lot of rules are followed here, which is the whole <laughs> idea of what punk is. I don't really like this bikini bottom flower she's got right on the lapel there. It seems like it's just like, oh, it's, Floral, so like, let me put one flower like right here on the thing that doesn't really match any of the rest of the outfit yeah. or anything like that. It's just like, I think it would've been more effective, but like we get the, the, the hair is the floral, you know, the flower exactly. is the mohawk. Just feels very clowny kind of. I'm expecting water to come out of that, the flower because it just doesn't fit the whole look. I actually like the whole look. I feel that the undergarment would be maybe a little bit more fitted would have been perfect. It's a toot for me. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a soft toot. Punk rock, honey. Rock on, baby. Toot. Uh. Up next, Cam. I mean, she just always looks really good, I guess, huh? Can I, can I just bring her home and keep her with me? It's so, so beautiful from the back, from the front, from the side. Girl, she's got flowers in her esophagus. She mentioned it, it's very Marie Antoinette. She's looking gorgeous in blue hydrangeas. It's a Southern flower. It's, it's very voluminous. The whole outfit reflects the flower and the structure of the flower and the color of it and everything. It is very opulent, but still just like well dosed. Nothing that I would change on this outfit. And just in case it rains out there on the main stage, she is like prepared. Exactly. She is ready. I mean, it's a hard two for me. It is a very high two for me too. Up next, La Big Bertha. I don't know about you, but I love wearing all black for floral week. I like that she went in like a really harsh direction with it. I would have appreciated to have maybe like some texture in the dress to make it flowery kind of, because other than the crown in the back, she could have worn whatever. I don't like this makeup. Severe white line right over the beard like that seems a little strange to me. The beard also looks like it's painted on. Is there actually a beard there? Because it looks like it's just makeup. How gorgeous it would have been if she had this like silvery, like blonde yeah. beard to go with this beautiful hair. It's looking very pedestrian for me. 
If we're gonna do this whole, like I'm just in a simple black look the whole time until I turn around, your shoes need to be on point, your black dress needs to be on point, you know, the whole thing, you really need to look snatched because 90% of the time, we're seeing you from the front here, except for the very end, when you turn around and I kind of get the joke that you're mourning your summer body. I feel that if she was dressed maybe in a, like a, a, a black swimsuit, would have been better. Or like a black veil. I think it's funny. I also get it. She's a campy queen, but I really like everything else. And I think it's just chic. I think she just like, she knows her hemlines. She knows her necklines. This is like really simple. I think it was a completely unique direction. So toot. I'm going to give it a boot. I'm sorry. Up next, ellipse. I'm really distracted by the look. What is she really saying with flowers, actually? I think she's an extraterrestrial doing gardening, something like that. <laughs> the blue makeup on the face does not even slightly match the blue catsuit thing. Yeah, that's a killer. I guess they're garden gloves, which I guess maybe, but they also look like they're maybe like for the dishes. The shoes, I like them though. Yeah, the shoe's nice, and I guess there's like a little bit of a gradient, I think it looks like, in the shoe that does kind of pull in the makeup from the face, but I don't know. I just think the whole thing, mm. the, I don't think the dress is hitting her the right way. I don't like that it hits like below the knee like that. I wish it was like a little bit lower or a little bit higher, the hemline of the dress. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the shape either. I do appreciate the whole concept like extraterrestrial thing, but when you choose colors, just make them work together, please. The dress, there's a lot of work on it. I can see it. I can see the gardening side of the look, but it's not. It's just not cohesive to me. So it's gonna be a boot. It's gonna be a boot for me. So next up, la brioche. Oh my gosh, this is fun. She looks really good this week. I love this. This is exactly what I was hoping for with like the camp aspect of some people we've seen so far. This is like, I think very successful. And I love a shapeshifter. And this is giving me another side of her that we haven't seen. She's like Mario's like side chick who's like really mad. Love seeing versatility on the runway. If you're doing camp, everything has to be on point and everything here is on point. The hair, the little earrings, the, the little Mario gloves. Also, it's so much fun, you know? You can tell when the girls out there, like just taking it so seriously and really in their head. And then sometimes they're out there just like having a good time. And you can tell yes. she's living her very best life out there. It's a toot for me. It is a, absolutely a toot for me. Up next, Lolita Banana. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh my God. Ah, wow, okay. queen. Mmm, the drama. I'm living for the drama. Viva la vie drag. Ah. So what does that mean? Like the life of drag? It's like drag life. She looks so, so good. Honestly, she took the prompt very literally. She's playing a lot with her origins right now, I think. Yeah. It's very colorful. He's telling us quite the story on the runway without any information at all, and I love that. She's giving us two different looks, but both are very beautiful. Her makeup looked good too. Drama, viva la drag, viva your drag. I am giving it a toot. Give it a toot as well. Thank you for the drama, viva. Up next is Paloma. She is the rose and the thorns are around her. I mean, I think it's a very read between the lines. There are no flowers here at all. The vine looks almost like it could be like some kind of a tail. Like, I wish I would have like wrapped around one of the legs and trailed behind her. Yes. Uh, or wrapped around her neck and like the sexy like, oh, like I'm being choked by my vines. Like, oh yeah. Or something totally. like that, you know? Maybe like a giant red rose on her head, you know? Or That's something exactly that was, like, what I, I was thinking about. Just like, her hair is just the rose. I would have liked to maybe see a little more skin because we see her face um, and it's the only skin color that we see right now. I feel like the hair could have been like more glamorous and like swept back if she was going for this whole glamorous thing instead of like this campy curly bang thing. I will say I appreciate that the red 
wig is the same color as the red cat suit. My problem is not really with the shape, it's, it's really within the placement of this like purple thing, you know, and the fact that there's just like no flowers anywhere. Just now noticing it looks like she's got a fleur-de-lis on her chest, which is a oh. nice detail there. Yes. I, I love the color of the vines though. I think it's gonna be a soft tooth for me. She's not really selling it to me. I think I have to boot it. Up next, Lova La Diva. I'm not really sure what the reveal is going on in there. It's just kind of like this nude bodysuit thing. I feel so naughty, like looking at it. Like, is, yeah. that, is that like, is that like, is that like a floral clitoris going on? Like what's happening? Can we say clitoris on Fashion Butter Review? I think so. Well, let's say it a few more times. Clitoris. <laughs> Not the glitter is clitter is. The payoff oh. is just not it, girl. Like, it, I just wish that there was a little bit more under there that we, she was yeah. actually like, had something to show off under there. Like a you huge know? flower or something like that. Love the size of the sleeves. I like yes. how big the shoulders are. I don't mind the hair. I think it's really pretty and kind of like hippy dippy kind of flower child. I love the flowers in the hair. In fact, I'm obsessed with it from the neck up. I think her makeup looks stunning. Her hair is really, really beautiful. I like the shape of the sleeves. Um, I don't feel that they fit the rest of the garment. Feels like two different styles completely. The one thing I do really love about this look is that she's wearing white pumps. And you know what they say about a girl that wears white pumps? She takes it from behind, I think is what they say oh, about a girl. Oh, does it? Or that she's like a whore or something. Thank God I'm not wearing mine. I love the head, love the feet. The rest of it, I'm like, ugh. I've had probably the most fun talking about this look so far. Um, yes. But I, I, I have to boot it. It's a boot for me, but I really had fun looking at it. Mais putain, la grande oh, dame! My god, she looks so gorgeous. Look at this makeup. Are you kidding me with this makeup? This hair? I would totally see that makeup like on Vogue. For some reason, it's giving me very floral without like hitting me over the head with it. It feels very fluid. The hair kind of tree, tree-ish vibes. These are just like gorgeous, probably very expensive human hair tracks yes. of hair. Uh -huh. And she somehow, you know, attached them to these like wiggle worms that look yeah. so cool. This is such a different look with the yes. squirmies. And it holds, it's not like it's wiggly or nothing. I love the dress. I think it's super weird and crazy. I love the colors together. This iridescent and this copper is really amazing. Also, I love the gloves. They're hitting her above the elbow like we like to see. I think that the pleating of this dress could have been shifted in a way that complemented a hip that's not there. I wish it, the bottom part would be wider a little bit. Yeah. Brava, Grand Dame, brava. I give it a solid toot. That is a very high toot for me too. Trend alert! Volume. The shoulders, the hair, yes. the titties, the hips, yes. the shapes, the volume, the skirts, the, drama. the bell skirts, the drama. Yes. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Very uh, shapey. Lots of flowers. Sh shapely. Hourglasses, shoulders, headpieces, but. Our top two of the week is La Grande Dame. Dame. Congratulations to La Grande Dame. You look so stunning, especially your face. Wow. We are Even a so gagged. Orchid. Orchid. It's actually my, the Colombian flower, so more points for that. So thank you. I'm so excited because you can watch an all new episode of Drag Race France. If you're in France, catch it on France TV slash. And everywhere else in the world, watch it on Wild Presents Plus. I'm getting a gorgeous vibe from the girls. I think that they're all gonna be so, so talented. They've got a long career ahead of them and I'm so excited for them. Yes. Oh my God. Also, have... I need to borrow their clothes. 
I was asking for fashion this season. I am giving. I am having it, and I am. I can wait for the rest of the episodes. All right. See you next week. Au revoir.